Hello, everybody. I'm Matt. And I'm Maggie. And we are... <laughs> Hopefully we'll see That's them. right. A positive place on the internet where we nerd out about all the geeky things that we love. Positive, nerdy fun here. Uh, hey, we're back at Smallville. The Smallville back at pop. it again. With Damn, what? Daniel. <laughs> With the white fans. <laughs> We need to get some white vans. I want some white vans. And look, we remembered to wear our shirts this week. <laughs> yeah, I was, I, I was honest with them. I was, I was hoping you'd forgive me. <laughs> two, four, two. I, I have a plan. I have an outfit planned. Well, whenever we forget to do this, you can wear that outfit. I'll forget. All right. That's a uh, scatterbrain. Oh, we should get capes to go with these. <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous. Oh my gosh, I can't stand. Oh, like okay. each, stand when students wore those. Each week, oh. each week we'll add another piece of the Superman outfit to our outfit. Hey, uh, if this is your I first do. time watching us, thank you for giving us a, a quick view. Uh, be sure and hit that like and subscribe button. You can ring the bell. You can follow us over on all the things that just popped up on the screen. Um, yeah, you can listen to us on podcast services, and did you know you can get extended cuts with the pre and post show? The, the Maggie, uh, <laughs> there's a reason she's acting this way. Is that supposed to be Superman's? Yeah, it's his curly cute. Oh my god! It's supposed to be an ass, by the way. Oh, it's always ass? swirled into an ass. That's can she do it? Uh, but yeah, you can head over to patreon.com slash hopefully awesome, where you can support <laughs> us and uh, help <laughs> God. Help keep this train a running, going around the bend. You look more like Cindy Lou Who. There's a microphone in front there of you. Yeah. So there you go. It's there perfect. you go. Perfect. Perfect. Yep. You look just like him. <laughs> you look like Dean Cain, Superman. <laughs> <laughs> Yarp. <laughs> All right. Hey. Uh, Maggie, nice for horses. We're six that episodes screamed. in to Smallville. Wait, yeah. how are you feeling so far? Um, it's getting it's getting better. Was it bad? I mean, it's been rough. How dare rough? <laughs> this ain't no dog. This ain't rough. You want to see rough? Go watch season four of Heroes, okay? That's oh, I rough. Won't. I will not watch that. You're damn you told, right you won't. You told me you don't want to I own to seasons one, two, and three of Heroes on DVD. I refuse to buy the fourth one. And I'm a completionist. And I refuse. I don't like circus things, okay? No, he, he doesn't. <laughs> Take a hard stance. Getting him to... To, to go to a great showman. It was, that was, uh, mm, it's only because I love you. Only. And because I love go. Zac Efron. <laughs> okay. Well, also you love Hugh Jackman. And he's huge. Uh, that's. A jacked man. Let me tell only you. reason. He will not watch the, the live action Dumbo. Yeah. Well, that's also Tim Burton. That's a whole thing also. I'm just not a big. I'm, 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 I'm a big dude. He's so weird. You know, he's like, ooh. You call ooh, me weird? Ooh. I like Tim Burton. Everything is so asymmetrical. Ooh. That's my Tim Burton impression. <laughs> what if, what if, what if uh, the penguin was raised by penguins? <laughs> oh, he's raised by circus folk. It, it, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's all circus. All right. Andy Circus. Need I say more? All right, so <laughs> all eyes on me in the center of the ring because it's like a circus. What is that? It's Britney Spears. Oh, I, was that her circus album? Yeah, I didn't listen to it. <laughs> I don't like circus things. <laughs> it was that heavily thing. Was that the womanizer? Womanizer, yeah. womanizer, womanizer, womanizer. Britney Spears people, you could probably correct me. I think it is. This is the stuff we should have kept in the pre show. <laughs> But hey, if you want more jibber jabber jaw like this, <laughs> the pre show, we're in a mood. We're in a mood today. All right, we're in. This is going right, to be good. We need to get going. This is going to be good. We need to get going. All right, well, Maggie, I, we got to go cruising. I agree. I agree. We got to okay. get going. We got to get You know cruising. where we got to get going? We got to be Maybe. going because <laughs> we're going back to Smallville. Oh my God. Go. <laughs> I was trying to get it to sound right, and I was like, the way I phrased that, it's not gonna, it's not gonna work. Well, I was gonna say, 
Let's get cruising back to Snow Smallville. Snowville. Snowville? No, you gotta say we're going back to Smallville. That's the name of the show. It's all about branding synergy. All right. How's it going back? Everything's asymmetrical. <laughs> What? Who making fun of him? You said cruising back to Smallville. Yeah. It's going back to Smallville. <laughs> We've been doing this for like two months now. It's going. The The action verb is going. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. And it is the future right. tense. It is the present future tense because I'm we are sorry, currently going back to Mike. Smallville. All right. I'm we sorry. are in I'm within sorry. the action of, of <laughs> Oh my god, I'm just gonna let him go. Uh, so, hey, we talked about hey, the word hey, forwarded hey, hey. for 20 minutes. Today's episode, episode six. <laughs> <laughs> episode six, hourglass. Is hourglass one word? All these tiles yeah. are one word. Is, hour, is hourglass one, one word? Yeah, is it hyphenated? Word. No, it's one word. Okay. I'm just checking. Because it's an actual That was theme. the test. And you know what? You passed. You didn't even know. But barely. <laughs> F plus click. All right. Original air date for the sixth episode of season one of Smallville. Sixth episode overall. Uh, original air date was November 20th, 2001. Remember, remember the 20th of November. That's not the first. Uh, it was written by Doris Egan. Good old Doris. <laughs> To be nice to Doris. Uh, I wonder if she's related to Taryn Egerton. Her name's Doris Egan. Maybe she had to change it. She Matt, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, directed by Chris Long. Uh, synopsis. An old woman grants Clark a glimpse of his future, while Lex takes advantage of the seer's gift. To learn more about his friend's secret. <laughs> Meanwhile, a bitter old man is rejuvenated by a fountain of youth. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Hourglass. <sighs> like the sands in the hourglass. <laughs> These uh, are the days of our lives. <laughs> you know, there's a superhero called Hour Man. Can you only power. remember their things? Nope, it's told to him within only, an hour. His powers only last for one hour. That doesn't make uh, any sense. I think it's uh, drugs. I want to say it's drugs. At least in one of the runs, it's drugs. Like he shoots up. <laughs> like, and then he's powerful. I don't know. Tom King probably wrote a comic about it, you know? That's weird. He loves writing about those weirdos. All right. So, <laughs> I got my notes here. We begin our glass at the old people's home, Maggie, all right? Oh, yeah, we, this is a very classy. Yes, it is. R- reminds me of the <laughs> thunder. I hear the thunder. Uh, it reminds me of the home from uh, The Notebook. Yeah. Was that ever decided on if that was his house that he built for her had been turned into an old person's home? Listen, I only watched it once and I watched it by myself and I cried. And I never watched it again. So shall it be. So shall it be. <laughs> so uh, don't so ask me <laughs> any specifics about that movie. Uh, it's really good. He built that house, man. I remember liking it. I'm he not built, saying I hated it. I'm just saying I watched it by myself. I'm just saying. Cried like a baby. I'm just saying. That was it. Later this week, you're going to get notebooks. No. Right. I don't want to. And you're going you're gonna to be watching it. And you're going to be like, man, he built that house. That's a one tree hill. That's a one tree hill reference for people, by the way. <laughs> that old house. Billy will love that call out. That, All old, right. that old house from PBS. No, oh, uh, from the Notebook. <laughs> they were both. They loved each other. All right, and even Cyclops Billy. couldn't keep them away. <laughs> oh, Billy! <laughs> uh, old people home. Billy. Uh, okay, twi- twister, okay. Twister. Okay. Okay. We need to move on. All right. We so we're on. starting the old people home. All right. That's and, a fancy one. Pete Ross and Clark Greek can't come walking down the hall, and they're like, "Oh, I thought we had to do some time, Clark." And he's like, "Well, you know what, Pete? Uh, we we could have been doing picking up trash, but we're gonna read to these old <laughs> people. <laughs> yeah, read to them." And he's like, but Clark, why couldn't we have done something else? And he's like, why are we doing this? And then who should turn around that corner? 
old Lana Lang herself, Lana Lang, right? And he's like, oh, I see why we're here now. And Lana's like, oh, what are you guys doing here? Oh, you. That's why. Boink. And so (laughs) they're like, oh, Clark, who who you're going to be reading to? Her name's Cassandra. And he's like, oh, Clark. Lana's like, you you got yourself a good one. They say she can tell the future. And Pete's like, whoa, really? And Clark's like, I don't believe in that bullshit. (laughs) Lana, get out of here. I got to go read to this woman. And so Clark and Pete (laughs) are strolling down the rest of the hallway. And uh, they They start to walk in and they start staring. No, no, no. They start staring at her. And she's like, well, are you going to come in? I sat there all day. I'm not going to do it. Staying there all day. And uh, she's like, Pete's like, how'd you know we were here? And she's like, I heard your shoes squeaking. I could hear you squeaking shoes from down the hall. No, don't make fun of her. I'm not making fun. That's, I'm, I, this is hey. an equal opportunity <laughs> making fun of. All right? Have you heard me talk about Jonathan Kent? All right? He screams about horses every day week. <laughs> like, come on. Come on. He right, does so, scream about horses I've every I've been week. waiting for you for 30 years. Pete, there's a long walk oh, back Pete, to you your have house. A he's like, oh, shoot. I forgot my daggone keys, Clark. I, lo- I must have locked them in my car. And then Pete That's the last we see of Pete. For a long time. <laughs> Did he make it home? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. But Clark. Maybe he smashed into his car. But Clark, he's sweet enough. He... Was this the birth of Pete the Boss Ross? You'll know more about that in season three, Maggie. But uh, for those in the know, was this was this the moment where Pete was like, I'm going to be the boss? <laughs> so Clark, he, he decides to come on in, talk to Cassandra. And he'll he's willing to read to her. He's not weirded out like Pete is. Even right. though Pete's mostly worry about his car keys but it, pretty much he never comes back <laughs> and then uh so then clark starts reading and then we join lana, lana. and what's lana doing she's willing this old man down by the koi pond and we just see what well he asked her before that yeah who are you and she said i'm lana are you? i'm lana lang and he said oh the langs They've, the they've been, been here since, since 1938, I believe. And then he's like, take me to the koi pond. <laughs> so oh. she wheels him down to the koi pond. And he's like, oh, I'm cold. Will you, you go get, get me give me a, a scarf? Give, give me a, a scarf. A shawl. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> lord. It's the 1800s. <laughs> Give me a scarf. I don't. I don't like when I catch a chill. Well, sure enough, Lon turns around. And look what the old man's starting to do. Light one. Blazing it. Four twenty. <laughs> he's having a neck fit. And he's got a light one up. Well, old man, he old starts man busts out a bong, ladies and gentlemen. He's Stop. waiting, just blazing. Ride the dragon. Huh? He's he says, "Listen, I am eighty. I'm about meet you. to die. I'm gonna get high. Look at these fish." So as he's trying to light up his cigarette, <laughs> just go over like you. Yes, yes, okay. He drops his lighter while he tries to pick up the lighter, and, and lo and behold, he falls out of the wheelchair. <laughs> into the koi pond. It's the most obvious thing that's gonna happen okay he falls into this koi pot and then like out of nowhere out of nowhere it's electri- electrified i think he gets caught up in like the lots no no no, no. it's because of it's because of the meteor rocks well, no, in the, no, pond. It's the electricity mixed with the meteor rocks and the water all right but, but then, then at the same time at the same time powers. at the same time cassandra right she drops something and Clark tries to hand it to her. And then at the exact same second, he touches her. She touches him. He gets shocked and drowns. <laughs> and then she says, someone's going to die. Someone it's close, close to, to the, you. Yeah, Clark, Clark, Clark. Clark. Yeah. I like her. <laughs> what, was, what was the guy? Bart. <laughs> It's not worth it. I have it's no clue. It. For I Arrested have... Development, the 
Clark, Clarky Clark. <laughs> what? I can't remember. <laughs> anyway, Billy, where art thou? <laughs> so, so then we we go back out there, and uh who is it? It's Lloyd from <laughs> when Harry met Lloyd standing in the uh, coin Lloyd? pot. And he's like, oh, I'm not Jim Carrey, but I'm young Walt, or whatever his name is. Harry, I think. Wait, Harry. His name's Harry, but he played Lloyd. <sighs> think about that. It's a scandalous, Matt. Because he is, it's the same actor. Anyway, I know. that's the joke. Uh, Barkley, Barky Bark. Oh, my God. Marky, okay. Anyways. Um, smoking by the water. So then, you know, he's like, oh, I'm young again. Do, do, he do, runs. Do. Somebody save me. This is the gospel <laughs> hymn version. <laughs> <laughs> so then, of course, we we open up and we're back at the old Kent farm. Oh, God. You got Clark. Uh, Clark, he's fussing his parents. He said, why don't you let me do these things? I mean, yeah, because they're doing chores. Yeah, because they're do- like cutting chainsaw. wood and su- stuff. Martha's and, got her old and chainsaw. Then, uh, no, in other <laughs> words, Clark's wanting to, to mess up some more form equipment. <laughs> It's like, Mom, give me that chainsaw grabs it, crashes it. Like, damn it, Clark. We only have we had to take out a loan on this yeah, farm. What in order to save it so you have a place you to stay. You know we can't make money off these horses, Clark. They won't stop screaming. What the hell we have is this corn. <laughs> we had to go give drink, up the pony rides. Go, go drink a gallon of milk, Clark. <laughs> oh, milk? <laughs> God, Anyways, no. and then he's like, "Mom and Dad, listen, you you nice. gotta stop doing chores. I need to let me do it. I'm why, safer, Clark? Because Clark, I'm indestructible. And no, Clark, and why Cassandra are you Cassandra so- said yeah. someone I love is gonna die. And they're like, "Well, who the heck is Cassandra?" And he said, "It's this old lady. I bet she's crazy, but I think she could see the future." I'm like Clark, nobody can see the future, Clark. That's crazy. And he's like, "As crazy as someone that's indestructible or can see through walls, huh?" Uh, uh, uh. And so, <laughs> so, uh, so then we go back to the nursing home. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, we go back to the nursing home, and Harry Lloyd is just walking around. Yeah, and he goes into. He says, "Hey, darling." You no, know, he goes into where, Matt? He's at the nursing home. Oh, oh yeah, that is right. I'm yeah. sorry, <laughs> it's okay. I thought he went. He to... starts the nursing home, and then he, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. he gets his he gets in his old box. All right, he's got a box under his bed, and what's in the box? You might ask. All these newspaper clippings. Newspaper clippings and What's piano these? wire. And it says, oh, Harry Lloyd is a, is a murderer. <laughs> All right. I've called him Harry Lloyd. That's going to confuse me. Nah, it's, 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 <laughs> and so, uh, so then we're like, oh, is Harry Lloyd a murderer? I don't know. And then he leaves and goes to the coffee shop. Uh, and he's like, hey, lady. The beanery. The be- <laughs> Why does it make you laugh? This is such a stupid name. The Beanery. That's the name of actual uh, places. This should get better names. Uh, yeah. so, <laughs> call yourself like, you know, Starbucks or something. You know, Dunkin' Donuts. These are actual names. The they Beanery. Can't. What are they? What are they? Uh, that could be coffee beans. could be pinto beans. could be black beans. You know, who knows? Do they sell soup beans and cornbread? I don't know, Maggie. It's called The Beanery. Who knows? So he talks to Zoe, right? And he's like, hey, Zoe, Zoe, well, let me get one of them there <laughs> hamburgers. He's like, ah, oh, oh, man, I haven't ate a hamburger this good since before my bypass. And she's like, what? He's like, I'm kidding, obviously, duh. And he's like, and I want some coffee. And Well, no, he looks at the menu and he's, you see like espresso. Oh, espresso he's is like, something. Espresso. You, you just got plain coffee? coffee. And she's like, yeah. And he's like, how much is it? She's like. Two seventy five. Did they drag in the beans from, from South, South America? <laughs> she's she's like, like, you sound like my grandpa. What? So then she goes to get his coffee, Which right? Is not her but grandpa. then walking through the doors, old Chloe, Lana, and Clark, the the magic trio, right? The and three then, is the magic number. Here. And Lana is very concerned about Harry's 
disappearance. Yeah, because dude fell in a koi pond and then she never heard from him again. She went to go get him a shaw and, and he she, was so and cold she, he disappeared. And she feels like it's her fault. And I mean, it wasn't. She shouldn't have left Kinda an was, old man you know? unattended from a nursing home. That's right. It doesn't matter if you wanted to blaze at 420, you know? <laughs> so, Lana uh, should have part take, <laughs> took, should, part hey, took. you know, Kansas is very progressive. Uh, <laughs> So, I'm kidding. I have no idea. They probably suck. I don't know. <laughs> uh, so then we go back to the nursing home. <laughs> wait. <laughs> so wait. So we go to the nursing home. Harry is a killer. Then we go to the coffee shop and find out that Harry's missing. And then he's he starts talking. And then he's like, my name's Clark. And this is, he's like, Alana Lang. And yeah. she's like, how'd you know that? Did you talk to Cassandra? And he's, he's like, like, no, it's your name tag. tag doofus. And then he's like, smell you later, assholes. And then he leaves. And so we go back to the nursing so, home. And Harry is, is playing, playing the piano. 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 Very and beautifully. Yeah, he's very good. Not good enough to get into Metropolis, but pretty good. Yeah. And so uh, so Harry, you know, he's playing. And Cassandra's like, oh, you play that piano. You play it so, so beautifully. beautifully. Right, what do you want? Will you give an old lady a hand? And he's like, Bitch, I already know my future. You're yeah. going to die. Oh! He sees, <laughs> and he chokes her out. Right? He sees her hand and he's like, Uh uh-uh. uh. I'm touching you. Not today. <laughs> so he chokes her, but then he lets no, her Oh, he live. does not choke her. And he lets her live anyway. So then. <laughs> he does <laughs> choke going. her. Don't listen to him. And, uh, and then, you know, we, we cut to Lex's house, right? And we see Clark, he's got his crate of beets or whatever the... Organic. I noticed on the crates Mm -hmm. from the farm, very nice font. They have a logo, the Kents do. Do they really? Yeah. Can I get a Kent Farm shirt? (laughs) It says Kents Organic Farm. Ugh. That's what it says. Their their acronym is COF. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't work as good in the post 2020 world. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, so then, you know, Lex comes blazing around there like he's been smoking a doobie. <laughs> Clark's like, Lex, you need to slow down. You're, you could get hurt. <laughs> and he's like, well, why, why is the sudden interest in my health, Clark? Well, I'm going, it sounds crazy, Lex, but I was told by a lady at the nursing home, Cassandra, that someone close to me is going to die. And he's like, you are crazy. You are crazy for listening Maybe to Maybe I her. should get some stock tips. Ahead. Some, well, some well, Clark like kind of encourages him to, you know, hey, how about you yeah. go go talk to her. Go talk to her, Stock Clark. tips. And so then uh, then we go and we're in some dude's home, right? None of us have ever seen no. this man. We don't know anything about this, bro. And then uh, the power goes out. It's oh, like, shucks. So then knock at the door. Oh, it's the electric company. Because God coming. knows they're that good. And it's, right? and it's Lloyd. It's Harry Lloyd himself. <laughs> Harry <He's there>. Lloyd. <laughs> he's there and he's like... Hey, uh, was your grandfather this dude? And he's like, yeah, that's my grandfather. Oh, you opened up the first car dealership in Smallville. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know yeah, your stuff. He's three. like, yeah, read it in a newspaper. And he chokes him to death right, with a, with with a piano, piano wire. wire. We're like, oh my God, Harry Lloyd just murdered and somebody. We're like, why are you murdering people at so much younger He goes, than Merry you. Christmas. <laughs> he chokes him out, right? So then, which is funny because Lloyd Christmas, Christmas is his last name. Oh, well. So then Cassandra and Clark, right? Uh, we go back to the nursing home and Cassandra's like, I was hoping you'd be back. And uh, I thought I freaked you out too much. And Clark's like, it takes more than that to freak me out. <sighs> just got to drinking a jug of milk oh on the way over. Like, just powering through. You know, it's 90 degrees. <laughs> I got my coat on, drinking this jug of milk. It's good. And so she's like, so are you ready to hear your future, Clark? Huh? <laughs> what? Like, what? Speak up. And she's like, so are you ready to hear huh? your future, Clark? And he's like, sure. Why the hell not? Right? And so he, he grabs her hand and then uh, he May sees. sees. Oh, yeah. He's surrounded it. by all these tombstones. Surrounded by graves. Yeah. Just all uh, graves, but then it shows the names and who's Lana. on the names. 
Jonathan Kent is on one. Martha, Martha Kent. Kent. Lana, Lana Lang. Petey. Pete Ross. Lex Luthor, I think, was maybe on one. I don't know. I don't and recall And then it pans what, out Lex's. more and more and more. And then he's screaming. He's like, oh, no. Which, I mean, that is a creepy image. Seeing and all Cassandra's like, stuff, hey, like, you saw it, too. Come back here. He's like, no, no lady. No, gotta go. You're a witch. Get out of here. And so he flies away, right? Well, he runs. No, he doesn't, he doesn't fly. fly. He doesn't fly. He runs away. Right? He flies off. And uh, so then Clark sees himself surrounded by graves. We go back to the farm. And he's like, Mom and Dad, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. And Jonathan's like, Clark, only uh, real men make their own luck. All right. <laughs> Words of Billy Zane mean- <laughs> from, from Titanic. A wise, he says, Clark, a wise man Which- once told me. Real men make their own luck. He says, Dad, that was Titanic. We saw it three years Which, ago at the Smallville Megaplex. recently saw Billy Zane on the 1998 Kids' Choice Awards <laughs> on the Super 90s playback. My heart will go on. And so uh, so they're like, Clark, don't worry about no, it. You're going to be fine. Clark, you're gonna be Nobody okay. can see the future, you Clark. That's crazy. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, as crazy as someone that is indestructible or sees through walls. He says it all again. And then he, yeah, he keeps talking. So then Lex shows up for brunch at Cassandra's, right? And he comes walking in and she's like, oh, Lex Luthor is This is expensive you. shoes. They gave you away. He says, I brought gifts. Oh, son of the Greeks bring gifts too. I, so you want to know about your future, I believe? And he says, no, I want to know about Clark because I think he's keeping secrets from me. And she says, uh. If can't do it. I can't do it unless I can see yours and see if Clark Maybe is in Clark's it. Clark's in your future. And he says, Cassandra, no thanks. Men make their own luck. No. <laughs> I control my own own luck. destiny or own fate. Men make their own luck. No, quit. <laughs> it's not Billy Zane anymore. God. He's such a weird looking so, dude. So we go back to the farm. <laughs> This episode is all over. The place. Yes, it is. I feel so farm. bad for people that listen to this. And Chloe and Peter are there, and yes. I don't have any notes on this, but I guess they're like, "Hey, did you know Harry is a murderer?" Oh yeah, Chloe is like, yeah, "Guess what I found out? Harry's a murderer. Harry likes to choke people to death yeah. with piano wire." And so uh, Harry goes back to the beanery, right? And he's just playing some music, and she's like, "Hey, Mozart, you gotta skedaddle. I'm closing yeah. up." And he's like. Uh, can I get another coffee, please? <laughs> she's like, Jack, mm, please. <laughs> and so she's like, ah, sure, what the hell, right? And so she locks the door with some random dude, right? And then like, uh, Clark on. and Cassandra are talking. And uh, she's like, I thought I freaked you out <laughs> too much. I didn't think he's going to come well, back. Well, she also said, you saw this thing that I I saw. You're the first person to see what I saw. Yeah. He's like, she's like, you're special, aren't you? And he says, no, I'm just a regular no, normal kid. Don't worry said, about it. Bad liar. Said, yeah. And then uh, she's like, well, you know, let's, let's try this again or something. I don't know. And so she, she grabs Clark's hand and they both breathe and they, they look. And what do we see, Maggie? This is, this is the part that we makes this the- one of my favorite episodes. I know you can't tell by the way I'm talking, but he sees all these people, people wanting help, right? Needing help. And then they get help in some way or another, right? And this is kind of the first, first like real mm-hmm. foreshadowing of the yes. things to come. So it's almost like in this episode, <clears throat> they kind of wanted to reestablish like, hey, yes, we're a teen show. Hey, yes, this is kind of like Buffy. However, but let us not forget, lest we forget where we are going with this. By the end of this series, you will believe a man can be a super man. Huh? Yeah, nailed it. <laughs> a man can be and a super... And then he's like, oh, wait, I saw Zoe. Because uh, he gets a flash of Zoe being in trouble. Yeah, and so, he's, like, uh, he's like, I've got to go. And then uh, Clark's future. And then we go to the beanery and Clark saves Zoe uh, because Zoe was also going to be somebody that, you know, uh, kept. We find out that something happened where oh, Harry no, Lloyd no. like, didn't get into the college because the teacher wanted yeah. somebody else to, yeah. to go. 
And so he starts killing everybody. That yeah, has yeah. To do with it. yeah, yeah. The the people that were on the jury, the mm. jurors, anybody mm. that's a descendant of one of the jurors was killed. Yes. And, inter- and they find out that at the torch where Lana stands there in front of the wall of the weird oh, yeah. and says, uh, yeah, like, guess what? My, my story is out there for everybody to see. And I'm like, well... You shouldn't have been four years old and watched your parents she, die by meteor I mean, shower, you know? I'm That's so- on you. I'm That's sorry. On you, no, no, Lana. no, no, it's on no, it's on freaking Nell for allowing someone to photograph her. I mean they would have had to get a release signed, right? Like yes. it's not like you could just use that photo, no. right? No. I mean, I don't think you could. I don't, I don't think know. So. It, being, it being like newsworthy, I don't know. That's like traumatic. Yeah. So like I don't see how that's cool. So, I don't know. I don't know so, how that works. We'll have to Another bad that. thing on Nell. Yeah, that's right. Aunt Nell you know, scraping the rock off of Lana's dead parents and turning it into a necklace and <laughs> signing waivers for Lana's crying face to appear, you know. It's a whole thing. She's the worst. Get out of here, Nell. Lana is oh. only Lana because Nell was Nell. All right. Is that a foghorn? <laughs> yes. <laughs> and so uh, Clark stops the horns. knife. Clark, Clark stops the knife. And it's like the Matrix. It like zooms around, like the pieces go flying. It's CGI like, oh, hey. knife. They had uh, they had a little bit more budget to spend before the end of the year. That's cool. Couldn't have a surplus, or else Warner Brothers wouldn't give them enough yes. budget for the next year. And so they had to use it, and they use it on the snuff. So that's pretty cool. So then um, Harry, uh, <laughs> it just says beanery like four times in a row because um, you love that word. <laughs> so at the farm, uh, <laughs> what? Is the farm um well anyway so they take and, harry and they they're like all right we've got him in custody we got and, him in custody yeah. oh and they're at the farm and the the, the kids are like oh she'll be safe and clark's like don't mm. worry uh you know so it will be it. fine yeah. her name's zoe she'll be fine they said she'll be okay but that man that hit you with the truck swore that he hit you yeah and you walk away with nothing wrong with you Clark. he's like well i have to protect people and they're like well, we have to protect you bum 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 and right. stop seeing that old woman yeah i don't want you hanging out with that cassandra anymore. you can't be hanging around with that old woman you get anymore. madam webb out of here right madam webb you yeah. said madam webb yeah when we was watching she has it. some pretty cool glasses on she does resemble madam web she does but. what an exotic woman <laughs> that's what stanley that's says, what stanley says about- <laughs> wow um maybe i should wait for the fantastic four to pick me up oh, my Lord. Uh, anyway so uh we go lex takes clark to see the old porsche right and clark's like what the h man why you got this uh this crashed car in here and he's like clark let me tell you about a guy who almost died and he is uh, uh, hotel at the hotel fire and he hung from the ledge for like an hour for 24 hours, hours. And, and then uh, so he, he bought the room and he said if, if he bought the hotel yeah he's like if fate can't get me here then they can't get me again right it's the same as lightning never strikes twice yeah. fires only happen once the old saying goes and so, so he's like, that's why I keep this car. And, and I've had understand many why. experts look over this car time and time again. They said oh, that, that I shouldn't have survived and the roof shouldn't have been ripped off like it had. And it had mm-hmm. Clark. Did you do anything differently that day? Do you remember what happened that day? And Clark's like, oh, worst Lex, liar in the world, by Lex, the way. All I did was drink a jug of milk and jump in to save you, buddy. That's it. All our members getting you out of the car, Lex. And so then, you know, they go and I don't know. Clark's probably off doing something and drinking uh, milk. Yeah, probably. You know how Clark drinking milk with the screaming horses. (laughs) Wait, you're still in my my bit. Yeah. Guess what? What? Bitch, I'm gonna take it. (laughs) You're taking my bit. I'm taking your bit. Oh man, time has come. Uh, Episode six. I'm taking it. (laughs) It's awful. Make your own. I did. No, and I'm taking stopped. it. It's mine. <laughs> I've mentioned marriage. it more than you <laughs> have this episode. <laughs> All right. So then Clark rides a screaming horse over. <laughs> He's milking a No, a it's mine. <laughs> and, uh, and so Harry's back home and they're like, oh, please help me. I'm, uh, Clark, I'm an old man again. Clark like stares a hole through him. Now, I'm just going to say this. This third act is very, very sloppy. Yeah, it okay? is. Because Poor, poorly written, Harry Lloyd gets uh, gets stuck. Uh, it turns back into an old man. Yes, no one understands why. 
No. Like, they never give us any reason why. So then they release him back to the nursing home. Clark goes to the nursing home, talks to him, which is a really cool scene that kind of... And also threatens the life out of him. Yeah. And it's kind of cool because you kind of get a sense of, like, Superman-ish. Like, it's not the threatening stuff, obviously, but just the way that he's talking to him and being very, like, you know, you're a bad man. I know you're a bad man. And I'm not going to let you get away with this. Yeah, I know what you've done. I know that you were that guy. Yeah. And then Uh, he's like, oh, I don't know. Oh, he's harassing me. And then she's like, young man, you need to get out of here. And I'm an old prospector. And I say you go. And that nurse is like, son, you need to get out of here right now. She's like, you got to go pan for gold. There's (laughs) gold in them there hills. So then, then Harry Lloyd is like, you know what? I want to get blazed again. So he starts willing himself back out to the whole like, toy pond. Like, you know? And you see him like staring at the water. He's like, can I do it again? He, I think I can, guys. He throws his ass back into the pool. And he gets electrocuted with rocks. And now he's young again. Why we why? have to do all that? I don't know. And did, why? Do why we have to kill 10 minutes? You know? did, yeah. Was it time released? I mean, you know, we was don't he, know. is he the hour man? Is that what it is? Oh, God. You know, who knows? Uh, so then Harry's young. That's why he stays blazed. And he goes back, he goes back to the Kents while well, he goes there for the first time, right? And uh, and so he's there and uh, something cuts out or there's a gas leak. And Martha's like, uh, oh, where's our regular gas man at? And uh, he's like, Curtis. oh, he's on vacation. And he's like, oh, okay, well, let me you, tell you what. You stay right here and I'll get you signed in or whatever. And then yeah. Martha's like, oh, shit. This is, uh, it's on like Donkey Kong after dawn with a and King I, Kong wearing prongs. And I'm sorry. I think I yelled at the TV. I said, Martha, lock the door. <laughs> Which like, she did. But it, it came in the other did, side. Yeah. So, yeah, small town. People don't lock their doors. Just like Dennis and Dennis. And so... <laughs> So Quiet then, neighborhood. Nobody locks the doors. Then Clark's like, oh, somebody's gonna... What do you mean Harry's gone? I gotta get going after well, Harry no, 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 They're at the torch at this point. I'm sorry. And they find out Hiram Kent yes. is one of the, the because, jurors. Because uh, the, Harry, the rural jurors. Harry, Harry said to Clark before he said, oh, you're harassing me at the nursing home. He says, oh, you're a Kent? Yeah. And he says, yeah, my dad's Jonathan Kent. And he's like, oh, your grandfather's name's Hiram, but I don't remember you being on the family tree. And so it turns out when they're at the torch and they're looking at that old newspaper from the trial, Clark puts it all together. He's like, oh my God. He's like, Hiram uh, Kent. That's Hiram. my grandfather. Hiram, sorry. Hiram Kent. That's my grandfather. See you guys later. Bye. Takes off running. <laughs> gets back to the farm. Martha's hiding inside a big old corn thing. A silo. A silo. Corn silo. <laughs> and uh, Jonathan Kent pulls in and Clark stops dead in front of the truck. Jonathan Kent's <laughs> like, holy hell, Clark. Like, Clark, what's wrong? Like, God, you know, don't wreck our freaking truck, man. Yeah. Like, how many more times I got to tell you? We can't do the pony rides anymore. The, damn, the doors are screaming. All we got is this corn. We can't, we can't lose the truck. We can't lose our corn stock. God knows if we have someone die in the uh, corn, we'll be just uh, up the creek. So hopefully to God, no one dies in all of our corn <laughs> stock that we have. So then Clark looks at the silo, and there's two dead people in the corn. And Jonathan Kent's like, ah, crap. Now we, now we ain't got the screaming horses, and we ain't got the corn. What are we going to do? Anyways. This episode taught me you Clark, can drown in corn. Uh, uh, you can. I, I know. I'm being factual. Uh, Clark, I didn't know you could drown in Clark, corn. Clark, uh see signs of a struggle around the house and stuff and oh he sees that martha's tires are flattened yeah so that's when he's like oh there's somewhere X-ray. else X-ray. and then and he sees dead I body love, and I he love, sees martha i will body. say this i love when they cut to tom willing just staring like they tell him like hey stare intensely at this one spot yeah and he's just like that I just love those I, I, yeah. cutaways. It cracks me I, up. I forgot that that's weird. Like, I'm just used to it. After 220 episodes, it's like, oh, yeah, that's what you do. You just stare at things. No, I mean, I'm, like, I'm, I'm, like, I'm going to notice every 
obvious thing. It's true. I'm glad you will. <laughs> so then, <laughs> I then, love it. Then he's like, oh, Martha's dying. And so he, he busts he's in like, and Mom. gets her out of the corn, right? And then they, they give, uh, John Lee gives and her mouth to mouth, this, brings her back. And you see this old man's hand. And Martha's like, see, Clark, nobody's going to die today. And then we're like, ah, oh, Clark did it. He saved and Clark, it. you saved everybody. But then. But then it cuts to Lex coming back to the nursing he's home. He's at Cassandra's. And, and, he's, Cassandra, got and he's got flowers. beautiful bouquet of flowers. And she's like, oh, Lex, so you changed your mind. Did you, you want to know your future? And he said. Yes, I don't want. He said, "I want to do. I don't want to do good things. I want to do great things." That's right. Man makes his own luck, and so Cassandra <laughs> grabs his hand, and then we flash right, and we see Lex dressed Home. to the nines in his white suit. And then uh, we we roll around, and where is he, Maggie? In a field of no, sunflowers. in the Oval Office. Oh, in the Oval <laughs> Office. My bad. It's okay. I. I'm sorry. I think I'm going to find it. We're, we're done recording. I'm finding it. I'm putting it as my background. I'm like, <laughs> Just him smelling the flowers. Him smelling a sunflower. Him in that oh, all white yeah, suit. Yeah, yeah. He's in the Oval Office. Yes. He's got his black glove on, right? Yeah. White suit, still bald. Yeah. And then he walks out, and then he, he looks up, and he's surrounded by flowers. Yeah, sunflowers. And, and then all the flowers turn to bones. Yeah. And then the clouds turn red. And then it starts raining, raining blood. blood. <laughs> It's all like, over his oh white suit. Oh my suits. god! Like this is guy like insane. Like what's I'm, happening? I just loved. I just loved where it's just Michael Rosenbaum just smelling a sunflower <laughs> in that suit. I think that's probably oh, the funniest man. thing. Rosie's great. All right, let me tell you, <laughs> Rosie. Yeah, <laughs> Michael Rosenbaum, Rosie. Oh, no, no, yeah, Rosie, no, Rosie, don't Rose, call Rose. Him Rosie. And then he he's sitting there and he says, "So what'd you see?" And she's dead. She died. Lex has his first victim. Yeah. And she's and it, it, dead. It, it freaks him out. Well, yeah. I mean, it what if you were holding someone's out. hand and then she died because of what she saw of your future? I and, mean, come on. It's pretty And crazy. so he gets a nurse to come in there and he leaves because he's so freaked out by it. And then Clark shows up. And he's like, oh, she was so, right. She Someone was, close to me did die. Well, she saw her own future. And That's then, what he said. The end. That's where it is. That's, That's where it literally is. the end sad. of the episode. It was sad. It's a really good one, though. It was good. I, I really liked, liked that episode. Um, let's see. Madam Webb likes driving crazy. The beanery. Uh, <laughs> she's seen Clark in other people's futures. I, mm-hmm. I, we didn't specify that, but she had seen Clark appear. Like any, in she future. said, like if I held other people's hands, you would show up. I if that was so great. if they, she said they would be sad in pain desperate for help and he would show up and yeah. he would make everything better you know why am i because he's batman. a good guy uh because <laughs> he's batman uh clark talking to harry is fantastic yeah. third act is sloppy martha is smart that's how it ends dot 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 yeah martha is smart she really was yeah. all right so that was our glass so let's get to our first segment <laughs> we, we got have a new segment, a new segment we got a new segment you hear us talk about this person a lot <laughs> so, as of today uh a little behind the scenes our first episode finally released to the public so we are six episodes ahead um and upon hearing it billy my brother has decided that he wants to make an appearance on the Smallville podcast, going back to Smallville. Uh, but, uh, well, yeah, we'll get him a shirt. <laughs> and so, <laughs> so we can but he doesn't want to appear until a specific episode. Oh, God, in season, wait till this. Season wait till this. This is a doozy. In season five. Okay. So, in 85 weeks. Billy will be here. So this is part of our new segment, <laughs> Countdown to Billy. Countdown to Billy. <laughs> and if future Matt makes a segment intro for this, it'll be great. But if not, every week until Billy gets here. <laughs> for 80, 85 weeks, we are counting Matt, down and we will Billy not, gets here. And we will <laughs> refuse to see Billy until it's No, moment. no. Maybe. I don't know. Like, even in real life. That's like, what I just, mean. <laughs> we're not going to see him at all until that, until that day. That's right. It'll be, it'll be like Sorry, he's... Billy. You're cut off. <laughs> you're cut off. All right. So, countdown to Billy. We are 85 weeks away from Billy. All right. Mm-hmm. Next segment, let's talk about the freak of the week. 
Major Funky. Major Funky. I made a weird face this time. <laughs> so th- we have an interesting, an interesting situation, an interesting scenario for this week's Freak of the Week. All right. Mm. Technically, technically, it should be Cassandra. There are two Freaks of the Week. We have Cassandra with future powers, and we have uh, <laughs> Harry Lloyd with his a- de aging is <sighs> a phenomenon. It's freaky. It's major funky. Right. Harry Lloyd does not have that power though. It he goes de-aged. away. It goes away. Uh, does 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 <laughs> does, does, Bruce does, Wade, does, does does Bruce Wade have powers? But would you still call him a superhero? Thank you. All right. So technically, we have two. We're freaks. not calling however, these people superheroes. However, how would you say he's a freak? <laughs> he's a murderer. <laughs> I'm willing. No, never mind. I'm not. I'm not willing to concede on this. So, do we have our first two freaks of the weeks <laughs> to be ranked within the rest? I think we do. No. I think we do. I refuse to concede. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> no, there's no. <laughs> there's... Man, that man is... fell into the water and okay. de-aged. Like, but he did not keep those years. powers. He, he is a not... freak. He and did it has not. Been a week. He did not keep those powers. He got. He did it twice. Yeah, but he didn't keep it forever. Maggie, Maggie, Maggie. <laughs> he did because he died young. So for the rest of his life, he had the powers. He got the powers. I mean, you cannot deny that he was affected I'll by the meteor rocks. I'll let have it this time, You ain't let me have it. I made a compelling argument. I'll, and I'll let win. you have it, Mosby. All right. Sherbotsky. So, where would we put Cassandra and Harry Lloyd? We've got uh, the current ranking. <laughs> coach. Number one, coach. <laughs> After 25 years. Uh, number two, Tina, Tina. Fake Lana, Flana. Number three, heat sucking Tina, corn you, dog. <laughs> Tina, you uh, lord. <laughs> number four, I would have to. Wow. Number four, that can't freakazoid, count. freakazoid. And number five, bug boy. So where would you put Cassandra and Harry Lloyd? If it was just Cassandra, I'd put her number one. I don't know. I felt like Harry Lloyd was compelling. I mean, he was a decent actor. And like, you know, his whole story, like there was, there was some thought to it. And then he choked people out of the piano wire. I mean, that was pretty hardcore. You're harassing me. I, I only think of young Harry You're Lloyd. You're harassing me. I only think of young Harry Lloyd. I don't think of big <laughs> Harry Lloyd. <laughs> number one. Number one. Number, number one. Number one. Number one. The even, though, bullet. even though I do love, love me some coach. Coach is still to, number two. I know, but like... <laughs> Just thinking of him setting a freaking TV on fire. Principal Quinn just stand there like, in front of like, like, whatever. This TV's <laughs> on fire. I'm just going to leave the school. <laughs> All right. Your new ranking at number one, we got Cassandra and Harry Lloyd. At number two, we've got, we got Coach. Uh, man, this is not wanting to top for me. At number three, we got Flana. At number four, we got heat sucking horn dog. Uh, wait, oh my gosh, Maggie, you read the rest of this list because I can't top and talk. I'm trying to top and, and talk, but I can't do it. Number four is heat s- sucking horn dog. Number five is freakazoid. <laughs> and we have right. three threes. Oh my god, quit moving it! I can't read. <laughs> and number so five is freakazoid. And number six is bug boy. <laughs> It's so hard to top on this. I feel like I'm, my eyes are like going buzz bonkers and my contacts are already drawn. Oh my up. gosh, Google Keep is not not wanting to work with me. All right, I, that's good enough. All right, <laughs> next segment. Next segment. No flats, no tights. Did they break the rule no. this week, Maggie? No, there was no tights. Did they? There were. No- Stop it. Wait, did, but wait. Oh, we oh, saw the future. Oh, 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 oh. We saw people asking for help. Did we see possibly in a frame a snippet no. of a future version? No. I didn't. All right. So no, they didn't. No. All right. 
Uh, let's get into DCU references. You become part of a bigger universe. You just don't know it. So, Maggie, did you know? Lex, in his future vision, is wearing a black glove. In the comics, Lex lost his hand to radiation exposure from a kryptonite ring and wore a glove to cover up the prosthetic. I didn't know that. Uh, also in Lex's future vision, Lex is the president of the United States, which happened Happens. at one point in the comics. Yeah. Uh, Harry Lloyd says the Langs first arrived in Smallville in 1938. This is the year Action Comics number one came out, the first appearance of Superman. Which you said, oh, what year did he say? 1938. Oh, oh. That's when Superman came out. Yeah, because I do my job. I take pride in my job, <laughs> Maggie. <laughs> All right, these people want to know the secrets, and I'm giving it to them. <laughs> Cassandra is reading a Braille version of the Daily Planet. Yeah. The Daily Planet, the DP. Uh, the scene in which Lex Luthor is, this isn't really a DC reference, but uh, in which Lex Luthor is in the White House was filmed on the set of another Warner Brothers television project. West Wing? The West Wing. That is correct. Uh, and I want to say that's the same set that they used for Heroes. Uh, Probably. For Nathan Petrelli in season one. Could be wrong, but I think that's the case. Uh, all right. Next up, the Talon Mix. Remy Zero! Yeah, hey, I like these guys. Yeah. Remy Zero! There was nothing. <laughs> so uh, you might think there was nothing, but actually um, the song 5-4? Five, 5 divided by 4? Five fourths uh, <laughs> by the gorillas played at one point uh, at the beanery. Yes, when they're talking to Harry Lloyd, uh, and then time served by dispatch played when Lex was driving crazy. Mm. And then there was a lot of classical music that I did not include. Yeah, so. there's a lot of classical music. Yeah, which was good. It was, yeah, it was know, good. It was a little. It was a loud car. Uh, <laughs> it, was, it was pretty good. I liked it. So Maggie, overall, what, how would you, how do you feel about Hourglass? I like it pretty good. Think I think it's one of your favorites. I think it's one of my favorites so far. I really love any time that they allude to the future. That's one of my favorite things. Well, I, I like aside from the hairy aspect of it all, I really like Cassandra. Yeah, like she's she a good, took it to she's a level. good, she's yeah. a good character to have in there. It stinks that uh, she died though. Yeah, no. Like, I know. I feel so like, bad for Clark. Done. He at least had somebody else that knew. Yeah. What was going on with him? Yeah, because it's just him right now. Him, yeah. I mean, his, his parent. Dad, but but yeah. they're like trying to protect him and stuff. But like, she was like, you know, your secret's safe with me. Yeah. I'm not going to tell anyone. Yeah. Uh, but basically, he had another person there for him that's outside of his family. And that also believed in him. Like, you know, yeah, Jonathan it, and Martha are always like, you got to be careful. You can't get exposed. We don't want you getting hurt. Yeah. But like, she was like, you're going to, you're going to do good, good things. things. You're going to help people, yeah. you know? Uh, so that was, I feel like that was definitely a, a boost for Clark. Mm -hmm. And I mean, that's probably why when he was talking to Harry Lloyd, the, uh, you know, he was able to feel so empowered to say, you're not going to get away with this. Right. Yeah. Um, and that's the thing that we talked about in the first episode. Uh, the the there's very 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 little uh, breadcrumbs right, mm -hmm. throughout the show. The they're like, hey, Superman, <laughs> right? Uh, this is one of those things. So like, you know, I, I said that uh, you know, in, in a, I think we were talking about Peacemaker, how like it's every episode there's you know reference to something, you know, Batman <laughs> or something, right? Um, but like in the beginning, this is what we had, right? Yeah. Like this is what we got. And like, you had to wait six episodes before you really got something that was like specific to Superman mm -hmm. lore, you know? Yeah. Um, and so they, they do that. Mm -hmm. Like that's, that's the, it continues that way. Uh, it gets a little bit better the, the further we go, especially around season eight, uh, when they, I'll go and Miles Miller leave the series and they bring in new people. Uh, it gets, I, I think that's really season eight's like the beginning of like uh, eight, nine, and ten are like my three favorite seasons of the show. Um, so yeah, so it's it's good, but there's still a lot of good stuff between now and then for sure. Uh, just wait, Maggie, you just wait. There's some stuff, man, when we get to some of these episodes. I have been so right. good. If I have to look up gifts, I just type in animated Superman. Oh, that way. I don't see anything. That's that's a very good point. 
That's a very good point. So don't worry. I've been very careful. And we appreciate it, Maggie. Next time on Smallville, episode seven, titled, ready for this? Craving. Craving like C-R-A-V-I-N-G? Yes. And let me just say, ready? Ready? Woof. All right. (laughs) Like, if I'm remembering correctly... Does uh, this person eat a lot? I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to tell you anything. Mm. Like We're just going to watch it and experience it together for the first time. I hope it's not another horn dog. It's not. Well, <laughs> it's all high school. So, I mean, there's there's always uh, that element of horniness. You uh, know? I hate <laughs> like, it. I mean, just being honest, you know. Like, I'm 32. That's always, that's always I don't want to hear about that. Oh, we didn't mention it. Whitney wasn't in this episode. Oh, he wasn't. Thank God. Also, like, they're kind of. I meant to say this earlier. They're kind of alluding to, like, it's really weird, because, which I've seen, I've done it myself. I'm guilty of doing this as a teenager. Yeah. Lana, like, playing the cards of, I like you, Clark, mm. but I'm going to act like I kind of hate you in a way. Mm. She, like, that's the kind of vibes I'm getting Yeah, we did end, I forgot, the last week's episode, we did end with, like, that sour yeah. note, like, because they yeah. almost went on a date, and then they... But well, and also he, and she found out like Pete like drops a bomb on yeah. her, like and then she, she just didn't plays it off. Yeah, yeah. but like, like in this episode, like we literally forgot because they make no reference to no, it. No, they you don't. Know? But like to me, like I was like, oh yeah, they left it like this. But how she she's playing like towards Clark, like you know, oh you're here, like yeah. I'm happy, like I'll smile and be happy to see you, but I'm still not sure how I feel about but you. Then so. she hung out with him and Chloe. At the coffee at the beginning. Yeah. You know? But she knows that Chloe's helpful about stuff like that. Yeah. So are you a Klana stan? Yeah. I don't know. No, not yet. You will I don't be. know. I don't know. You will be, Buckley. Your brain, Buckley. <laughs> Ten points to anybody that knows what that's what I'm talking about. All right. That's gonna wrap it up for us. Uh this has been Welcome Back to Smallville. Uh, you're going number, back to Smallville, going Matthew. Back to Smallville. Well, we already went, and now we're we're, we're cruising. To, yeah. Are we cruising back home? Cruising for bruising on the USS Bruiser, and I'm Captain Bruising. Oh my gosh! Uh, <laughs> your number one Smallville rewatch podcast on Hopefully Awesome. <laughs> number one, baby. Number one. On, only on Hopefully Awesome. Though. Uh, if Number you, one. If you enjoyed this, uh, please rate and share. If you're on a podcast network, uh, you can give us a rating and review. Five stars, we appreciate it. Uh, but definitely, you can put whatever you'd like. Uh, if you're on YouTube, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, leave a comment, let us know. Uh, you know, let's go down to the coast, have a few drinks, have a few laughs. Um, coast City. Um, I want to go. <laughs> it's not hard. That's not hard. Reference. I want to go to Coast City. Coast City? Do you know where? Do you know what Coast City? Is? No, it's Green Lantern. Oh. I want to go. And uh, if you would like <laughs> to get extended versions with the post show, we got a good post show coming up. You just wait. Uh, you can head over to patreoncom slash awesome where you can subscribe and help us keep this train rolling, rolling around the bend. Toot, toot. We ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. You haven't seen the sunshine? I'm um, going to Folsom Prison and time oh, keeps no. dragging on. But as I train against the moon, I'll never say that. Alright, thanks for watching and as always, have a hopefully awesome day. Bye!